Do not be afraid. Our fate cannot be taken from us. It is a gift. My course is set for an uncharted sea. The hottest places in hell are reserved for those who, in times of great moral crisis, maintain their neutrality. There is no greater sorrow than to recall a happy time when miserable. The path to paradise begins in hell. In that book which is my memory, on the first page of the chapter, that is the day when I first met you, appear the words, here begins a new life. All hope abandon, ye who enter here. The secret of getting things done is to act. Remember tonight, for it is the beginning of always. In the middle of the journey of our life, I found myself within a dark woods, where the straight way was lost. If your world isn't right, the cause is in you. The more a thing is perfect, the more it feels pleasure and pain. The devil is not as black as he is painted. The wisest are the most annoyed at the loss of time. He who sees a need and waits to be asked for help, is as unkind as if he had refused it. There is no greater sorrow, than to recall our times of joy and wretchedness. Love insists the loved loves back. If you give people light, they will find their own way. Follow your path, and let the people talk. O human race, born to fly upward, wherefore at a little wind, dost thou so fall? Beauty awakens the soul to act. Consider your origin. You were not formed to live like brutes but to follow virtue and knowledge. They yearn for what they fear for. Into the eternal darkness, into fire and into ice. There is no greater sorrow than to recall in misery the time when we were happy. The man who lies asleep will never waken fame, and his desire and all his life drift past him like a dream, and the traces of his memory fade from time, like smoke in air, or ripples on a stream. And we came forth to contemplate the stars. Love that moves the sun and the other stars. Through me, you go into a city of weeping. Through me, you go into eternal pain. Through me, you go amongst the lost people. There is no greater sorrow than to recall happiness in times of misery. Nature is the art of God. The more souls who resonate together, the greater the intensity of their love. And mirror-like, each soul reflects the other. 
a mighty flame follows a tiny spark. The day that man allows true love to appear, those things which are well made will fall into confusion and will overturn everything we believe to be right and true. From there we came outside and saw the stars. Midway upon the journey of our life, I found myself within a forest dark. For the straightforward pathway had been lost. Heaven wheels above you, displaying to you her eternal glories, and still your eyes are on the ground. Because your question searches for deep meaning, I shall explain in simple words. Lost are we, and are only so far punished, that without hope, we live on in desire. But the stars that marked our starting fall away. We must go deeper into greater pain, for it is not permitted that we stay. No sadness is greater than in misery to rehearse memories of joy. I did not die, and yet I lost life's breath. Hope not ever to see heaven. I have come to lead you to the other shore, into eternal darkness, into fire and into ice. I felt for the tormented whirlwinds, damned for their carnal sins, committed when they let their passions rule their reason. For she doth make my veins and pulses tremble. As little flowers, which the chill of night has bent and huddled, when the white sun strikes, grow straight and open fully on their stems, so did I too, with my exhausted force. Thus you may understand that love alone, is the true seed of every merit in you, and of all acts for which you must atone. At grief so deep the tongue must wag in vain, the language of our sense and memory lacks the vocabulary of such pain. I care not where my body may take me, as long as my soul is embarked on a meaningful journey. Everywhere is here and everywhere is now. There is a gentle thought that often springs to life in me, because it speaks of you. If a man does not fall asleep immediately after sex, then maybe it's time for him to go home to his wife. Be like a solid tower, whose brave height remains unmoved by all the winds that blow. The man who lets his thoughts be turned aside by one thing or another, will lose sight of his true goal. His mind sapped of its strength. Without hope, we live in desire. Mankind is at its best, when it is most free. Pride, envy, avarice. These are the sparks have set on fire the hearts of all men. Because there is no man who can be true and just judge of himself, so much will self love deceive him. The whole universe is but the footprint of the divine goodness. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they have freed themselves from sinful wrath. 
If you follow your natural bent, you will definitely go to heaven. <laughs>